Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2022-2023 Mission Academic Excellence Awards. I'm Craig Verley, Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Mission CISD, and I'll be hosting the event for the evening. We'll begin our official welcome will be from our superintendent, Dr. Carol G. Pettis. everyone. Isn't it nice to be here this very nice evening? It is indeed an honor to welcome you to the 2022-23 Mission Academic Excellence Awards. We are honored to be here with you this evening as we honor our district's best and brightest students. The Mission Excellent Banquet is sponsored by the Mission CISD Board of Trustees to honor the top 5% of the senior classes of our three high schools. We would like to take a moment to introduce our Board of Trustees. Board President, Ms. Betty Veronica R. Mendoza. Board Secretary, Coach Iris Iglesias. <laughs> Board Member, Mr. Juan M. Gonzalez. <laughs> Board Member, Ms. Mini R. Rogers. <laughs> Board Member, Ms. Petra B. Ramirez. <laughs> Board Member, Mr. Jerry Zamora. Also in the room are some very important individuals. Some of them include our central office and school administrators, counselors, and Mission CISD staff. Would you please stand and be recognized? Tonight, we also have some guests that have played a very significant role in the educational lives of our student honorees. Each student has been able to select an educator to honor as the one who has had a major role to impact their education and futures. If you are one of those honoree educators, please stand for a moment and be recognized. Thank you for your contribution to our students. Thank you very much for your dedication, your service, and for joining us this evening. Perhaps some of the most important individuals in the lives of our students and our honorees are their very first teachers, and those are their parents. Thank you, parents, for not only being here this evening, but for supporting your children as they have navigated their journey through their education, through challenges, and sometimes pains, growing up, sometimes laughter. So parents, would you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Mission Excellent Honorees, we look forward to congratulating each of you individually here on the stage shortly. Thank you. It is rather nice. It's always interesting at this event. You see the students every day on campus and they look a little different tonight. 
Y'all are looking sharp, and it is so fun to see you all uh, in this kind of atmosphere outside of campus. Um, and it's also nice to see everyone's faces. This time last year, we were still masking up almost everywhere we went. So again, we've made another major step forward in terms of our recovery from uh, the whole pandemic issue, and it's nice to see everyone's smiles again this evening. Thank you, Dr. Pettis. I'd like now to uh, ask our board president, Veronica Betty Mendoza, to come forward to welcome everyone on behalf of our board of trustees. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the board of trustees, it is indeed an honor to welcome everyone to the 2023 Mission Excellence Awards. This is a special honor given to our best and brightest members of our senior classes each year. Only the top 5% of each senior class receives a Mission Academic Excellence Award. This year, that is 24 students from Mission High School, 22 students from Veterans Memorial High School, and five students from Mission Collegiate High School. Each student has worked long and hard over the years, and we are proud of what you have accomplished. While the evening is primarily about honoring these students, there are special guests that have been invited by each student. These special educators made a special impact in their lives of our seniors. The printed programs contain the students' special thanks to their invited guests. And to those special educators, I would like to add an extra thank you on behalf of the Board of Trustees, not only for your positive influence on the students here tonight, but also for what you do for all our students each and every year. You have our respect and gratitude. Students, congratulations on earning the Mission Academic Excellence Award. We are proud of each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mendoza. Now would Ashley Melissa Osorio Valdez from Mission High School please come forward and lead us in an invocation this evening. for the invocation. Almighty God, as we gather tonight on this momentous occasion, we thank you for the blessing you have bestowed on us. We thank you for all our honors guests who have inspired, challenged, and guided us throughout our education. Lord, we ask to continue to use your knowledge to impact the world for the better. We are grateful for the support we have received from our parents, family, and friends. Thank you for every aspect of their time with us, their sacrifices, and their unjielding love. May each one of us students feel proud as we enjoy the celebration of our successes. Let us remember our high school years with fondness, the knowledge gained, the friendships made, and the dreams and ambitions we carry in our hearts. Heavenly Father, we ask that you graciously foster within us a continued passion for learning as we join, as we join you onwards. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Ms. Valdez. Now on to the main part of our program for this evening, formally honoring our Mission Excellence Award recipients. We will begin with the students from Veterans Memorial High School this evening. I do invite Dr. Pettis back on stage to congratulate each of our student honorees. Students, as you come forward, you can come up from this side of the stage, accept your award, you'll exit the stage, towards this side, and then we'll take a special award photo of you over by the backdrop over there. 
to introduce our Mission Excellence honorees from Veterans Memorial High School, Principal Fidel Garza. Good evening and welcome to our Mission Academic Excellence Awards Banquet. A special good evening to our Board of Trustees, our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Carol G. Bettis, Central Office Personnel and Administration. Thank you for making this evening possible. A special and heartwarming welcome to our honorees, our Mission CISD High School students, their family members, and their guests. On behalf of Veterans Memorial High School, faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to extend a sincere thank you for your attendance this evening. This yearly award ceremony is among my most treasured occasions of the year as it provides us with an opportunity to reflect on the preceding year, address our community, and share the achievements of the students with their parents and loved ones. Our school truly believes that good education plays a vital role in building the bright future for our children. Therefore, our campus, our district, are committed to providing an atmosphere for our students where they can learn new educational things every day, learn about teamwork, and importantly learn how to become successful citizens of our community and beyond. This evening, we get an opportunity to publicly celebrate the success achieved through the sheer hard work, perseverance of our students. Students like you are responsible for the continuous growth and development of our school in combined efforts with the extreme, extremely proficient teachers. You all deserve the credit. I express my heartfelt gratitude to our campus teachers, our parents, for their support and collective efforts towards the development of these young talented, grooming them to achieve something worthwhile in life and above all, raising them the right way. Whatever our students have achieved so far would never have been possible without your constant endeavor. I am extremely pleased to recognize and mention that the contributions of each and every one of you present here has excelled in the school and for themselves. So I thank you for having come together and supporting these students and their efforts at this ceremony. We are so proud of each and every one of you, your accomplishments. It is no accident that these students are graduating at the top of their class. They have worked tirelessly, have pushed themselves, and have had an ambition to achieve the goals they have set throughout their academic years. As you continue your journey, don't ever forget where you come from. Don't ever forget those who have had a hand in shaping who you have become and who you will become. Take on new challenges as they come along the way and be the innovators of change that you are destined to be. Dream big and believe in yourselves to reach far beyond what lies ahead. I leave you with a saying. Succeeding in life is as simple as being a good student. All you must do is pay attention, work hard, and give it your best shot. Thank you. <laughs> Parents, when your child's name is called, please stand and be recognized. Teachers, special guests who are being honored by our uh, students, also please stand when your child's name is being uh, called. Students, when your name is called, please come forward and receive your award. We'll begin this evening with our first recipient, Kaylee Danielle Alanis. <laughs> Kaylee's the daughter of Amy Fonseca and Carlos Alanis. Their special guest is Sandra Pacheco. Kaylee plans on attending the University of Texas at Austin, where she plans to pursue a degree in astronomy. Damon Joseph Butron Adams is the son. The son of Jacqueline Butron and Lemuel Adams. Their special guest is Yvette Chavez. Daniel plans on attending, Damien rather, plans on attending the Texas uh, A&M University where he plans to pursue a degree in business. Madison Ray Davis is the daughter of Judith and George Davis. Their special guest is Yulin D. Rios. Madison plans on attending Texas A&M University where she plans to pursue a degree in psychology. Duetsi <laughs> Patrice Emmitson is a daughter of Rosa and Herman Rivera. Their special guest is Gloria C. Padron. Wetsi plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, where she wants to pursue a degree in psychology. <laughs> Math Victor Matthew Gallardo. 
Fifth is the son of Dina Lee Gallardo and Victor David Gallardo. Their special guest is Mark Morris. Victor plans on attending the University of Texas at Austin where he plans to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. <laughs> Noah Nathaniel Gill is the son of Delio De and Rolando Gill. Their special guest is Martha Medina. Noah plans on attending Texas A&M University where he plans to pursue a degree in biomedical science. Autumn Jewel Gonzalez is the daughter of Belinda and Jesus Gonzalez. Their special guest is David Land. Autumn plans on attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley where she plans to pursue a degree in biology. Daniela Odette Gonzalez is the daughter of Lidia Polido de Gonzalez and Jorge Gonzalez. Their special guest is Manuel Mark Verreal. Daniela plans on attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley where she will pursue a degree in engineering. Jordan Abigail Hernandez is the daughter of Mabeli and Roberto Hernandez. Their special guest is Jose Luis Sanchez. Jordan plans on attending the University of Texas at Austin where she will pursue a degree in biomedical engineering. <laughs> Destiny Soraya Herrera is a daughter of Brenda Septuche and Gregorio Herrera. Their special guest is Annalisa Y. Mercado. Destiny plans on attending Texas A&M University where she will pursue a degree in psychology. <laughs> Ian Abel Inojosa is the son of Norma and Gabriel Inojosa. Their special guest is Guadalupe Sainz. Ian plans on attending the University of Houston where he will pursue a degree in civil engineering. Melanie Navaya Lianos is the daughter of Idalia Ojuya and Eligio Lianos. Their special guest is Randy Castaneda. Melanie plans on attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley where she will pursue a degree in biology. Gabrielle Loren Longoria is the daughter of Lizette and Daniel Longoria. Their special guest is Sylvia Salinas. Gabrielle plans on attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley where she will pursue a degree in biomedical science. Jasmine Yarez Lozano is the daughter of Yarida and Oscar Lozano. Their special guest is Soledad Paniagua. Jasmine plans on attending Texas Christian University where she will pursue a degree in business administration. Amanda Michelle Lasoya is a daughter of Paula and Provisio Lasoya. Their special guest is Jesus Rasso. Amanda plans on attending Texas A&M University where she will pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. Lillian Lee Marroquin is a daughter of Jessica Viegas and Alfonso Marroquin. Their special guest is Yvette Sanchez. Lydian plans on attending Texas State University where she will pursue a degree in pre-nursing. Sarah Fernanda Martinez Salinas is the daughter of Sonia and Juan Martinez. Their special guest is Maria Peña. Sarah plans on attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley where she will pursue a degree in music education.
Brandon Anthony Molina. He is the son of Maria and Juan Molina. Their special guest is Jesus Montoya. Brandon plans on attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, where he will pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. Nidaline Nunes is the daughter of Cruz Elena and Erlindo Nunes. Their special guest is Veronica Burgoa. Nidaline plans on attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley where she will pursue a degree in environmental science. Lauren Elizabeth Sanchez is the daughter of Anna and Ruben Sanchez. Their special guest is Kenna Nunes. Lauren plans on attending Texas A&M University, where she will pursue a degree in aerospace engineering. <laughs> Micah Benjamin Sanchez is the son of Annabelle and Sergio Sanchez. <laughs> Their special guest is Emilio Casas. Michael plans on attending uh, University of Houston where he will pursue a degree in computer engineering. <laughs> Ethan Lien Zamora is the son of Cynthia Macias Zamora and Jerry Zamora. Their special guest is Maybelline Rodriguez. Ethan plans on attending Texas A&M University where he will pursue a degree in finance. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor once again to present to you the top 5% students of Veterans Memorial High School. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Garza. Now for our students at Mission Collegiate High School. I'd like to ask that Principal Annalisa Flores come forward to introduce the MCHS honorees for this evening. Good evening, members of the board. Dr. Carol Bettis, Superintendent of of schools, ELT team, fellow administrators, parents, honored guests, and the class of 2023. I am Annalisa Flores, Prof. Principal at Mission Collegiate High School. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I'd like to thank all of you for your attendance to this evening. Buenas noches, miembros de la mesa directiva, Dr. Carol Perez, superintendente de escuelas, administradores, padres, invitados de honor y clase de 2000. A 23. Soy Annalisa Flores, directora de Mission Collegiate High School. Los maestros y el personal les agradecen a todos por su atendencia esta tarde. Honored guest, the student that invited you here tonight selected you because of the positive impact you have made in their lives. Thank you for showing your support once again. To the parents, thank you for your endless love and support. You are to be commended for your child's accomplishment. We know they could not have done it without you. A los padres, gracias por su amor y apoyo. Usted debe de estar muy orgulloso por los logros de sus hijas. Sabemos que no podrían haberlo hecho sin ustedes. And to our amazing lady knights that sit before us, you are the faces that exemplify the best of Mission Collegiate High School class. I know it has been a challenging four years of high school. You were able to adapt to school closures and virtual learning and overcame obstacles that many of us did not have to face while we were in high school. You kept academics a, prior, a priority, and for that I commend you. Walk back with me in time for just a minute. As an eighth grader, you along with your parents made a decision to attend an early, early college high school. You made the commitment to challenge yourself to the rigorous academics and endless hours studying that would be required. You made it. Here you are four years later. It wasn't easy. 
and you might have even questioned your ability, your ability to take and pass dual and AP courses, but you never gave up. All five of you beautiful young ladies will be graduating in a few weeks from South Texas College with an associate's degree. What a great accomplishment. I know, <laughs> I know each, and each one of you has a motivation to be successful and reach any milestone that you envision. Go the, go the extra mile, meet the expectation and goals you have set for yourself. You are the academic leaders of your class and for that reason, you sit here tonight being honored as our most prestigious knights. To be part of this distinguished group is an outstanding achievement, one that is not easy to accomplish and for that, I congratulate you. May you never fear adversity, conquer all obstacles and always be blessed. I leave you with this quote, behind you are your memories, before you are your dreams, around you, all who love you, within you, all you need. Parents and honored guests, as your names are called, please stand to be recognized. Students, when your name is called, please come forward to receive your award. I ask that you please hold your applause until everyone has been presented. Padres, Como se les llama por su nombre, por favor, póngase de pie para ser reconocidos. Les pido que por favor mantengan sus aplausos hasta que to todos hayan sido presentados. Our first honoree, Tylee Olivia Guerra, is the daughter of Vanessa Hernandez and Marcelino Guerra. Her honored guest is Ms. Yvonne Villa. Tylee plans to attend the University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley and major in finance. Violeta Yusel Lira is the daughter of Dalila Haro and Juan Lira. Her honored guest is Mr. Raywell Bautista. Violeta plans to attend Texas A&M College Station and major in animal science. Kiana Lilani Reina is the daughter of Susan Sue Reyna and Juan Reyna Jr. Her honored guest is Mr. Anthony Charles. Kiana plans to attend John Hopkins University and major in biology and minor in psychology. Lauren Raquel Sanchez Castillo is the daughter of Laura Castillo. Her honored guest is Mr. Miguel Torres. Lauren plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and major in biology pre-med. daughter of Elizabeth Rodriguez Avilino and Jose Rodriguez. Her honored guest is Mr. Aaron Gomez. When he plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and major in business. Ladies and gentlemen, the top 5% of the class of 2023 from Mission Collegiate High School, your applause is in order. Congratulations, students. And now for our student honorees from Mission High School, I invite Principal Jose Mejia to come forward and introduce the honorees from MHS. Good evening, Madam President, Ms. Betty Mendoza, members of the Board of Trustees, Mission CIC Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Carol Bettis, 
central office administration, campus administrators, counselors, parents, guests, and most importantly, our mission excellent recipients. This evening, I have the distinct pleasure to present to you the 2022-2023 Mission Excellent Award recipients. These students are among the best and most decorated graduates from Mission High School. Students, congratulations. I am proud to know that each of you will be representing Mission CISD, Mission High School, and your families with eagle pride, respect, accomplishment, and honor as you pursue your dreams, become active participants in the community, and immediately attend the college of your choice. I challenge you to be what you are, do what you love, speak what you feel. Do not hide your humanity. Celebrate it, embrace it. This is how you change the world. Continue leading the way. Remember that leaders are like eagles. They do not fly with the flock. They explore new heights and challenge themselves and others to soar beyond the norm. Yet, an eagle is never too large or consumed with itself to assist another eagle in distress. And that what makes an eagle a true leader. So spread your wings and soar. Congratulations once again, and good luck in all of your endeavors. To continue with the program, I'd like to ask the parents and educators to please stand and be recognized as the Mission Excellence recipient's name for Mission High School's call. Students, please come forward as I call your name. Please hold all applause until everyone has been presented. Mia Adame is the daughter of Ricardo and Miriam Adame. Her special guest is Mr. Enrique Arredondo. Mia plans to attend the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, and pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. Angel Eduardo Almaraz is the son of Alfredo and Carla Almaraz. His special guest is Ms. Sherla Blackwell. Angel plans to attend the University of Texas at Dallas and pursue a degree in computer science. Adrian Ayala is the son of Jose and Bianca Ayala. His special guest is Mr. Ramiro Ocaña. Adrian plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and pursue a degree in environmental engineering. <laughs> Sebastian Santos Valderas is the son of Luis and Maria del Carmen Valderas. His special guest is Mr. Kenneth Benoit. Sebastian plans to attend Wayland Baptist University and pursue a degree in political science. <laughs> Brianna Lizette Becerra is the daughter of Jose Lopez and Laura Becerra. Her special guest is Ms. Suzette Bustos. Brianna plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in biology. Brianna had a previous engagement and will not be able to join us this evening. <laughs> Delaney Arlette Caceres is the daughter of Miriam Aleman. Her special guest is Mr. Joselito Guanzon. Delaney plans to attend the University of Chicago and pursue a degree in computer science. Next, we have Kimberly Denise Chavez is the daughter of Ana Marciel Basio. Her special guest is Ms. Carmela Gutierrez. Kimberly plans to attend the University of Texas Rogan Valley and pursue a degree in graphic design. Kimberly could be with us tonight. She's participating at a DECA state competition in Dallas, Texas. Bianca Sofia Cienega is the daughter of Juan and Jessica Cienega. Her special guest is Mr. David Colunga. Bianca plans to attend the University of Texas at San Antonio and pursue a degree in biomedical engineering.
Monique Alexia Estrada is the daughter of Marco and Leonora Estrada. Her special guest is Mrs. Yadira Zapata. Monique plans to attend Texas a and University in Kingsville and pursue a degree in animal science. Alexia Anais Flores is the daughter of Carlos and Annabel Flores. Her special guest is Miss Nancy Turchi. Alexia plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in biology. Madison Lynn Garcia is the daughter of Aaron and Donna Garcia. Her special guest is Ms. Neva Jimenez. Madison plans to attend the University of Houston and pursue a degree in accounting. <laughs> Ashton Kane Guzman is the son of Narciso and Vic Vicky Guzman. His special guest is Mrs. Nidia Alonso. Ashton plans to attend Texas A&M University College Station and pursue a degree in sports management. <laughs> Delilah Danielle Wattis is the daughter of Jaime and Eva Wattis. Her special guest is Ms. Maria Barrera. Delilah plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in biology. <laughs> Camila Leandro Lopez is the daughter of Rosa Ibarra. Her special guest is Ms. Graciela Ramirez. Camila plans to attend Texas A&M University McAllen Higher Education Center and pursue a degree in biomedical science. <laughs> Ashley Melissa Osorio Valdez is the daughter of Edgar Osorio and Claudia Valdez. Her special guest is Ms. Anita Trevino. Ashley plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in social work. Jalen Jalixa Osuna is the daughter of Reynaldo and Jessica Osuna. Her special guest is Ms. Marlene Isidro. Jalen plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in Integrated Health Sciences. <laughs> Noé Peña is the son of Noé and Mileda Peña. His special guest is Mr. Robert Granados. Noé plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and pursue a degree in electrical engineering. <laughs> Paula Alejandra Prado Veron is the daughter of Jesus Gasca and Kenya Veron. Her special guest is Mrs. Veronica Cruz. Paula plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in nursing. Prismeli Quintanilla is the daughter of Jeanette Cantu. Her special guest is Ms. Liana Lopez. Prismeli plans to attend the University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in nursing.
David Rimada is the son of Juan Rimada and Esmeralda Quintero. His special guest is Mr. Rolando Solis. David plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and pursue a degree in biology. Abigail Marie Rivera is the daughter of Herman and Bianca Rivera. Her special guest is Ms. Marisol Caram. Abigail plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in BFA Visual Communication Design. Ana Sofia Rivera is the daughter of Cesar and Bianca Rivera. Her special guest is Mr. Salvador Ovalle. Ana plans to attend Rice University and pursue a degree in neuroscience and computer engineering. Cruz Alberto Segovia is the son of Jesus and Laura Segovia. His special guest is Mr. Sam Yort. Cruz plans to attend the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and pursue a degree in music. Virginia Michaela Villalobos is the daughter of Daniel and Virginia Villalobos. Her special guest is Ms. Randy Beglin. Virginia plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and pursue a degree in political communications. Ladies and gentlemen, your applause is now an order. Thank you. And now, speaking on behalf of their fellow Mission Excellence recipients from Veterans Memorial High School, is Jordan Abigail Hernandez. Despite the challenges that we have faced, how can we forget that fateful Friday in March of 2020 that we left for spring break and did not return to our respective schools until August 2021? We adjusted to new teaching methods and preserved, uh, while maintaining a rigorous workload despite the chaos around us. I come before you with a grateful heart despite the obstacles that we have encountered. Most of us have heard the African proverb that says, it takes a village to raise a child, and this has never been more true. This evening, I would like to praise everyone who has been a part of our village. Parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, siblings and fictive kin who have taken on the difficult task of raising us. We are grateful for you. Thank you for walking by our sides and supporting our goals. You set the foundation to help us grow into the people we are today. To my fellow classmates and future colleagues, we managed to get this far, and this is just the beginning of our educational journey. We managed to make it through a pandemic, so anything is possible. Despite the late nights of studying and the inevitable fatigue, 
we are finally pushing past the breaking point. As we have constantly worked hard, our hard work and dedication has finally paid off. Our lives are just beginning and the best is yet to come. Personally, I thank you all for being my biggest competitors and yeah, my biggest cheerleaders. I would have not grown into the individual I am today if it wasn't for you all. You all have definitely pushed me past my limits and ultimately, by building up our dreams, we have set up a promising future of new and endless possibilities. And lastly, to all the educators who have had a part in our journey, thank you for all the learning experiences and for believing in us even when we did not have the courage to do so for ourselves. It is far from simple to handle teenagers on an everyday basis. A teacher's job generally goes beyond their initial teacher description. More than just teaching a subject, they aid in our development to allow us to reach our utmost potential. They watch us grow to create a generation of humans that will hopefully one day make an impact on the world. Our teachers are the beacons that show us the way to a brighter future. Thank you teachers for your efforts that have set us towards a better tomorrow. Last but not least, I would like to mention that throughout my lifetime, I have had many mentors, coaches, and teachers that have positively impacted the journey I have taken. And I am extremely grateful for that. In this array of wonderful people, I have to recognize that the greatest influence has come from Mr. Jose Sanchez. I will always acknowledge you for setting a strong educational foundation and will always have a part in the successes that the future may hold for me. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. Bringing this to an end, I would like to extend one last thank you to all who are present today. Thank you parents, educators, and peers. Students, let us continue to put forward our best efforts to make our mark on the world. We are just about two months away from entering the real world. We got this. And here's to the class of 2023. Thank you. And now, would Kiana Leilani Reyna come forward and speak on behalf of your classmates from Mission Collegiate High School? by noting that it has been a rewarding and significant journey from freshman year to now. With the funny events and memories that have been shared throughout the past four years at Commission Collegiate High School, each of us have gone through significant change one way or another, whether it be through new staff and administration or having to combat a new learning environment. But each has led to all of us becoming the person we are today. These four years of growth mark the devotion and quality of our education that we have been able to consume with, from each level of campus and Mission CISD. For that, I would like to thank our district, specifically Superintendent Dr. Carol Perez, and the Board of Trustees for making our school possible. Through the support and goals that have been set by you all, neither my fellow classmate nor I would have had the opportunity to have the exceptional high school experience we did and to go through with such tremendous development. I thank the district for accommodating Mission Collegiate High School for all of its, through all of its essential departments needed, such as transportation and funding, that allow the school to give the students the opportunities we are most grateful for. I would also like to thank our school's administration for being the, one who, the ones who di directly coordinate and influence the efforts of our school. Our principal, Mrs. Flores, who constantly encourages us on all of our academic endeavors and leads our school to academic excellence. Our former Dean of Instruction, Mr. Isagere, who made sure we stayed on top of our classwork and inspired us to be proactive students, as well as our current Dean of Instruction, Mrs. Gonzalez, who continues to make sure this expectation is met. And last but not least, our academic counselors, from and consistently making sure we were cared for while ensuring that everyone was on the right path towards success. 
Besides our high achieving administrators, thanks are to be given to the extraordinary teachers and staff of Mission Collegiate for the exceptional learning environment we have been able to grow in. The educators of this campus have always gone above and beyond, and the extra mile they each go through to make sure all students are engaged has left us inspired to persevere in one way or another. Thank you all for the hours of effort you have put in through your work to teach us as well as be there for us. And for that, know that we are extremely grateful. As for the bus drivers, custodians, IT and librarian, cafeteria crew, and front office, they have been the ones that are usually behind the scenes, but always go out of their way to ensure the school maintains a welcoming and safe environment. Our fellow classmates also deserve some thanks as well. There has always been a sense of unity throughout our class due to the constant support and encouragement that each one has radiated through one another. Thank you, class of 2023, for exceeding expectations together and achieving greatness when times were tough. Lastly, I would like to thank all the parents or guardians of the honorees, including my own, for supporting us throughout our educational journey. You have pushed us to be the best versions of ourselves we could possibly be. From the school board and administration to the teachers, staff, and students, a lot has gone into, our making, into the making of our educational career. And through that, we've been able to go through an exciting period full of discovery and inspiration. On behalf of my class and fellow honorees, I thank all of you for everything you have done for us and helping make all this possible. Thank you. Now would Ana Sofia Rivera come forward and speak on behalf of your classmates from Mission High School. High School's class of 2023. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all the honorees, parents, guardians, and friends that join us here tonight. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to express my appreciation towards Mission CISD, our wonderful superintendent, Dr. Carol Perez, board members, educators, administrators, and the leaders of our community who made this event possible. Buenas noches, homenajeados, educadores, familias, y miembros del Distrito Escolar de Misión. Muchas gracias por organizar este evento que recordaremos por el resto de nuestras vidas. To every student sitting here tonight, congratulations on being recognized as an excellent submission and as outstanding scholars. Throughout the past four years, we have faced an abundant amount of obstacles, including a worldwide pandemic that impacted each and every one of us. However, we did not let this, these hardships stop us from excelling in all aspects of life. From being classified as overachievers in the classroom to playing under the lights on Friday nights, we have all persevered and succeeded day in and day out. Coming into high school as freshmen, we understood that this journey would be far from easy, but we never gave up and realized that good things will come for those who are patient and strive for greatness. Many of us have decided where we want to further our education and what we want to study. We have received a countless amount of acceptance letters, scholarships, accolades, and recognitions from universities across the country. These moments are full of nostalgia and relief because it is now evident that all our hard work has paid off. A lo largo de estos últimos cuatro años, no se nos ha entregado nada. Sin embargo, hemos ganado todos los elogios, cartas de aceptación, becas y títulos de reconocimiento. As intellectuals, we have shown what it takes to be resilient and determined to be the best versions of ourselves, no matter what the circumstances are. Valentine, our studies and extracurricular activities has exemplified the idea that we are ready to tackle the real world with a sense of purpose and gratitude. Our time in high school is near the end, but I would like to acknowledge those who made this chapter of our life special and ex ex extraordinary. Excuse me. A los trabajadores de la cafetería, gracias por saludarnos siempre con una gran sonrisa y preparar una comida caliente para todos los estudiantes. A los consejeros, gracias por siempre asegurarse que nuestra escuela esté limpia y por trabajar muchas horas para que entremos en un retorno refinado todos los días. To our amazing counselors, 
Thank you for not only guiding us with our academic ambitions, but for being people that we can count on about our personal troubles. To our teachers, thank you for being people who have led us in the right direction and have educated us to be exceptional individuals everywhere we go. To our coaches, thank you for molding a competitive nature within ourselves that will benefit us on and off the field. To our administrators, thank you for serving as the backbone of our institutions and ensuring that we enjoy the finest high school experience possible. Last but not least, I would like to thank our loved ones who have been by our side through it all. Thank you to our parents, grandparents, and guardians who have gone out of their way to make sure we are safe and cared for. Without your love and support, we would not be sitting here tonight. A nuestros seres queridos, gracias por darnos un sentido de esperanza y mostrarnos amor incondicional. Todos ustedes son la razón por la que queremos tener éxito, porque nos han dirigido hacia la luz al final del túnel. Personally, I would like to thank my two amazing parents who have given me the world and made great sacrifices to get me to where I am today. Thank you for always believing in me and accepting me for who I am. Ma, thank you for being my rock and best friend. Ba, thank you for being my role model and biggest fan. I love you two more than life itself. Before I conclude my speech, I would like to leave you all with this. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But no matter what you do, you have to keep moving forward. In spite of it all, never forget who you are and always chase your dreams, no matter how big they may seem. Make memories that you will cherish forever and never look back. Live life to the fullest and have no regrets. I wish every single person tonight, here tonight, good luck in all your future endeavors. I hope that you all flourish as brilliant human beings and achieve virtue in everything you do. Once again, congratulations, class of 2023. Mission Excellence recipients, thank you so much. And now with a few closing thoughts, our superintendent again, Dr. Carol Pettis. Wow, what words of inspiration. Thank you for your reflections of gratitude, honorees. In just over two short months, the classes of 2023 will be setting off to pursue higher goals of their own. But we know that they will not be totally on their own. Not only will they continue to be able to call upon their special educators upon their parents, family, but also the entire Mission CISD family. At this time, I would like to ask our three honorees they share their reflections of gratitude to join me up here. Jordan Abigail Hernandez from BMHS, Kiana Leilani Reina from Mission Collegiate High School, Ana Sofia Rivera from Mission High School, here at Mission CISD, we love tradition. And uh, we've started a tradition that maybe some of you may not remember. These three honorees talked about gratitude. And today, we are very grateful for seven board members. Thank you. Today, we are very grateful for seven board members that have made today possible. So we'd like to show our appreciation to them with a yellow rose of Texas that represents friendship. So if our three honorees would take a couple of the yellow roses, board of trustees, would you please stand and receive this token of appreciation that represents our honorees in class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you, honorees. Admission CISD. <laughs> we
We offer the best education, but also the best customer service, and always with a heart full of gratitude. And with that in mind, we want to bring this evening to a close. However, we want to thank our counseling staff, our principals, assistant principals from all of the three high schools for their help in coordinating tonight's awards. Everything happened behind the scene. We get to come here and do the fun part, which is shake hands, but the hard work happens behind the scenes. So it wouldn't have been effective today without your assistance. Thank you. Our deepest gratitude to the educators that were honored here this evening and to our parents. Thank you so much for entrusting your most precious possession to us, your children. And to conclude, we'd like to thank the City of Mission and especially Mayor Nori Gonzalez Garza and her staff for making tonight possible for the use of this facility. So when you see the, her and her staff out in the community, please thank them. So we'd like to give them an applause. Good night and many blessings. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Not quite through. We do want to pause for a moment for another little special moment that uh, is one of those that's also a part of the tradition of mission excellence. And uh, there's a lot of symbolism that goes into the red roses that each of our student honorees picked up after they accepted their award and had their photo taken this evening. And we would like to take a moment for those student honorees, if you would please stand for a moment. Now present that rose and what it represents to your honored educator that's here with you this evening. We do have just a little more housekeeping before we get to our benediction this evening. Uh, I would like to again also acknowledge and thank our Board of Trustees and our Executive Leadership Team for all of your time and efforts and everything that you do in support of what goes on in our schools in support of the students and the teachers in the classroom. Thank you very much. Principals, counselors from the high schools, thank you all for your help and support in making this evening happen. It wouldn't happen without your help and assistance. Also to the small but mighty uh, public relations team, uh, thank you for your support in making this happen this evening. They will be working furiously after spring break to go through probably a bazillion photos and a lot of video from this evening and we will be sharing uh, all of that on our district social media and the videos that we create, including the one uh, of the whole evening will be shared on our district YouTube channel and social media as well. So look for that uh, at some point shortly after spring break. I also would like to let you know that we've arranged for family-sized charcuterie boxes for each of our student honorees to take home and enjoy with your families this evening. Honored. <laughs> Honored educators and campus administration, we haven't forgotten about you either. We have single-sized <laughs> charcuterie boxes for you as well. Those you'll be able to pick up as you leave the Mission Event Center this evening. Students, we also have a yard sign for each and every one of you to pick up at the uh, back of the room as you exit the room this evening as well. Now, to bring this evening's award to a final close, would Tylee O'Gera from Mission Collegiate High School please come forward and lead us in our benediction.
please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we express our gratitude to you for all of the abilities, successes, and gifts you have given us. It is in honor of these things that we have gathered here tonight to celebrate. We owe you thanks for our parents' unwavering love and encouragement in all of our undertakings. As they struggle to let us go to pursue our ambitions and desires, kindly grant them more endurance and bravery. We give thanks for the dedicated work of our teachers and administrators who help us realize the goals that have been sown in our hearts. Please provide them more wisdom so that they can help us, especially when we are in need. Bless those in our community who support us and who think it is important to invest in our education. Please help us to remain focused on the tasks we will have, still have to complete, such as homework, final examinations, and research papers, as we continue to get ready to graduate in the coming months. May we never forget that we are supported by a loving family and community that want nothing more than to see us graduate and prosper in life. Please encourage us to keep going and to have the courage to face whatever obstacles we may face as we pursue our goals. May we all experience God's blessings tonight and always. Amen. Have a good evening. Don't forget your charcuterie boxes as you leave and the yard signs at the end of the room. Congratulations, Mission Excellence Honorees.